What's good, everybody? My name is Brandon Mitch, and I'm actually here to give you guys some content creator slash Instagram influencer tips on Instagram today. So before I go into actually telling you guys what I wanna to talk to you guys about today, I wanna to make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube page. That way you don't miss none of my newest videos, giving you guys tips on Instagram. So today I'm gonna to be talking, or today I'm gonna to be talking about staying in your own lane and the importance of staying in your own lane. Now, I got a couple of notes here I wanna double check before I go into everything. But the first thing I'm gonna tell you guys when, I'm, when I say stay in your own lane, you should be focusing on your skills, things that make you different. Highlight these things. And these can be, you know, things that you may think that aren't important, but you know, there are things that are important to you, but you don't feel like it's something that you could share. I feel like you should use those skills, especially if it's something that, you know, is different from everybody else in your niche that doesn't necessarily, you know, do this or able to do this, I feel like you should find a way to highlight that and use that. Now, I'm gonna take myself for an example and I'm gonna give, gonna give you a really good example of this. So I run a men's lifestyle page and I talk about, you know, I show off my, you know, my sense of fashion. There are a ton of Instagram pages. There are a ton of men's lifestyle fashion pages out there. You know, there are a ton of people doing the same thing. Um, you know, all different types of clothes, but you know, they're all pretty much the same thing. So it's like, what could I do in that space or in that niche to stand out from everybody else. And this is something I really had to think about. And when you're in this spot, you wanna think about things that are natural to you. These are things that you would do, you know, just naturally. You wouldn't think twice about it. Even if, you know, you weren't trying to get paid to do it, you would still do it. And the thing for me was skincare. You know, I've really been into skincare since high school. It was something my grandmother told me, to, you know, always take care of my skin and it's just something that stuck with me. So I've always done facials, masks, um, since high school, peel masks, like I've been doing that. So I knew this was something that I was able to do and I knew there wasn't anybody really in the space of, you know, the niche I'm, I'm in really talking about this with a focus on this that look, you know, even looked like me. So for me, it was a very educated and a very strong decision to go this route because I felt like, you know, it would be very beneficial. Like I said, there was nobody really doing this. And I landed, you know, this uh, skincare campaign during the middle of a pandemic, which is, you know, is dope. And for me, it was like, for the fact that they found, you know, found me and asked me to do the campaign, it was like, I felt like it was really dope. And it was really, you know, a testament of me you know, believing in myself and believing, you know, that this skill, you know, something that majority of the people, if they had this skill, they probably wouldn't talk about. I decided to take a chance and use that. And I was actually able to book, you know, this um, skincare campaign. And I feel like if we do this a lot more, these would be the things that make you stand out and be able to get, you know, big jobs. You know, these are things that are, help you stand out and get noticed. You focusing on that thing that makes you, you know, weird or unique. Uh, I really feel like this is, you know, very key in, you know, this space. Like I said, it's very saturated. You have a lot of people talking about the same thing. So use a thing that you, you know, you would do normally. Find a way to make it work for you in your niche. Because a lot of times, and I'm going to my next point, you know, a lot of times we can look at Instagram accounts that you see that, you know, they may have, you know, a substantial following and you see multiple accounts pretty much doing the same thing. And it's like once you see a couple people doing the same thing, you know, everybody kind of starts to imitate and do that same thing. And this is where everything starts to get repetitive. And it's like you're just seeing, you know, the same thing just with a different face. So if you can find a way to use something that's not really being used to your benefit, it can really help you stand out. So, like, you know, this brings me into my next point. You know, a lot of times we see people's accounts that have substantial followings, you know, that they'll be taking their pictures a certain way, they'll be you know, filming their stories a certain way, they'll edit their pictures a certain way, and you may see like 10, 15, 20, you know, hundreds of people that are still doing this same format. People kind of feel like, yo, I need to do this format because this is what everybody else is doing. And I'm here to tell you, like, you don't have to follow that same format. Just because, you know, that was work for somebody else, it doesn't mean it's gonna work for you, you know, me bringing you to that. And it's like, why would you wanna be doing something that you see everybody else doing and the point of you know everybody pretty much wants to stand out and be their own person on instagram so why would you go into the space of trying to be a copy of you know these people that you know were, were successful before you you know why try to go into be a watered down copy of that 
I don't think you want that, you, you know. I don't think sometimes we think this when we start to do this, you know, we start to follow these same routines that we see other people doing. We don't, you know, necessarily think like that. And I'm here to tell you, like, you know, keep that frame of thinking, you know, go the other way. If everybody's going that way, go this way. Because, you know, it's gonna be the thing that makes you stand out, that makes you a lot more noticeable when it comes to, you know, brand deals, followers, uh, you know, whatever, you know, ends up coming your way from social media. So you, like I said, focus on that thing that makes you unique. Don't try to, you know, follow these other people that have pretty much been doing, you know, the same routine that everybody's trying to follow today. And uh, the next, yeah, like I was saying, I kind of already made that point, but like this can be something that literally cost you a job. Like if I hadn't been focused on trying to, you know, give guys tips, grooming tips and skincare tips because I knew nobody was doing it. If I if I didn't do that, that would have cost me a job. You know, that job could have went to somebody else. But but with me going with my gut and going with something that, you know, I already do. It worked. So stay in your own lane if you guys are doing something you guys you know maybe it's not going to where you don't feel like you're growing as fast as you want to right now just make some tweaks here and there if, there, if there's tweaks that need to be made but just stay in your own lane don't try to follow everybody else that you see doing the same thing you know try to go the other way because you want to stand out you don't want to get you know mixed and blended in and you start to look like everybody else okay so that's all I got for today's video, but make sure you guys are subscribed to my YouTube page. And if you guys like this video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up so I know to keep making videos like this. But if you guys have any, or ladies, if you guys, if any, if, if y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, or maybe some topics you want to hear me talk about, um, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate that. But until the next video, I will see you then.